Hey guys, so this is my second video, second attempt. Okay, so I am not going to go through the basic tools um, in detail. So the arrow is to move the shapes around. And this is just a point or a plot a point. This is to find the intersection point, And this is to erase whatever you did on the grid. Now, then when you go down a little more and construct for the first one, that is your midpoint perpendicular line and perpendicular bisector and those, those are the only three then for the first thing of the lines that is a line segment and when you're drawing a triangle the best way is to use the polygons function rather than the lines if you use lines it's not going to work with the area or the, um, of the triangle so please use this now when you create a triangle so let's say I create I don't know mm, somewhat this way okay so when you do that hopefully you saw it when I tap the first, second, and third, now hopefully you see that the bottom, the AC is not actually enclosed with a blue line. So you actually have to tap the A again that you, um, that, so that you actually enclose it. So the concept is to start from A, go to B, and B to C, and C to A, and that way you have the triangle, okay? Now the next thing is to plot the midpoint. So choose any line that you want to put the midpoint on, and it will automatically do it. And then in order for you to find the mid median from here, you can simply just tap the two points that you want to connect. And that basically is the line. So in this case, this line is the median since it's the vertex from the midpoint, right? Now, then the first thing that you need to know, or the second thing actually you need to know for um, your assignment, which actually corresponds to your number two, is that you need to know how to find the area, right? So you need to know how to find the area. The easiest way to find the area is you basically reconstruct the triangle um, by clicking the points again. So in this case, if I choose the area, which is actually at the measure, oh, by the way, if you can't see anything like the polygons or the circles, all you have to do is just press more at the bottom of it, and then you will extend the whole menu. Now, when you then go back to the measure and click the area, which has the centimeter square, and it actually says area of ABC equals eight. However, in this case, I am trying to find the area of ABD. So in that case, you have to click the polygon again, oops, polygon again. Um, click the triangle and do in the, the right order or the same order from A to B, B to D, D to A. And then it hopefully you can see that the triangle ABD that I just selected is a little darker color than the triangle ABC. Hopefully you can see the, the difference there. Now then if you click the area button and then click that area and then it says area of ABD, which is four, right? So that's how you can um, find the area of a shape or shape inside of another shape, etc., etc. Now then for number three, you need to be able to find the length. So for example, when you have, let's say, three medians, so, whoop, whoop, oops, this one has to be different. Okay, so then this to that, that to that, and that to that. So then we have the centroid, right? So centroid is at G now. Then if you need to find the side length of BG, you may think that, you know what, I'll just click the length um, button and I'll click it. But whatever that actually is from B to D instead of B to G, that's because you just click the line. So instead of doing so, if you want to find the specific length from B to G, all you have to do is you have to drag it. So start from B, okay? So click B and you can see that that light blue circle around the B and then click G. Now you can see that it says BG, right? So let's do that again. Okay, let's do that again. So I will plot G again and then click B and then click G, then it actually tells you. If you want to do G, sorry, D to G, then that's how you do it. Okay, so click D and then click G. So basically, click the start of the, point, um, of the line segment and then click the end of the line segment. It will give you the length of that line segment, okay? So that's for the lengthwise. And then for the angle, so angle is slightly different, and this one you have to be careful with... Um, your triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase everything for now. Now let's say I try to create a triangle from this to that to that to that. So it is the triangle ABC in terms of the order, right? It's not the triangle BAC or CBA. 
the order that you created or I created is from B to A to B, uh, sorry, B to, uh, sorry, A to B to C and then to A um, as it's to come back. Now, when you're looking for the angle, you have to follow that order, okay? So if you don't follow and you're going to see something weird. So if I want to measure the angle ABD, I go A, B, and sorry, ABC, then C. So then it will measure the interior angle of the triangle. But somehow you think that, oh, you know what? It's the same angle if I read it backwards, C, B, A. So if I go backwards, then C, B, A, then you see that it actually measures the outside angle. Okay. And well, it's then still easy to find the interior angle um, by subtracting whatever the outside angle from 360. However, in this case, as long as we follow the order of how you created the triangle, then it will give you the interior angle instead of the exterior angle. Okay. And then the last thing is to see whether the two lines are parallel or not well that's basically you need to measure the slope in order for you to find the um, um the, whether the two lines are parallel or not right so in this case i just created these two midpoints and i will connect these two now it looks like they are parallel to each other however in math we actually need to prove it so in order for you to prove it there's a slope um, icon or button under under the measure which is the fifth one and when you click that and click the point right oops click the line and it actually gives you the um, the slope so hopefully you can see that it says m equals 2.075 etc 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 right and if you click um, the other line so from b to e if you click that and it also says 2.07 blah 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 now if i click probably hopefully yeah so the triangle that you see here um that, that just popped out is or popped up is to measure the one unit as the run and then it tries to measure the, the rise okay so you don't have to worry about well what is this triangle it's just to measure the the slope of that line so in this case well these two have the slope of 2.0753 and on which are the same so the line a b and e d are parallel to each other right so hopefully this is helpful video for you and the assignment is due tuesday okay all right bye guys bye 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 bye